Hey Aries, this is Alex Angel, and I am here to bring you your angel and tarot card reading. Um, typically, I would say for the first half of April. However, I am removing my the dates from these readings because they're pretty much time, uh, timeless. Um, of course, time is a human measurement. It's not a universal, you know, energy, spirit, spirit measurement. So, although I will continue to produce my videos at the same times dur uh, during the month, um, I won't date them anymore. But anyway, I hope you all are doing well and happy birthday, Aries. Um, you guys are kicking off spring break. Woohoo! For whatever is left of spring break, especially with the coronavirus. But anyway, um, we're going to read five uh, regular tarot cards. Um, I'm going to clarify them maybe with the Rider weight or also with the, um, the um, Deviant Moon. And then in the end, I will follow them up. Six of Pentacles with um, three earth magic cards, okay? So I'm using my Arcanum deck and let's go ahead and clarify with the standard Rider weight. Looks like Aries, you guys are, um, you got money, opportunity and stability coming in, you know, new offers. Um, it kind of feels like a lot of you are working on or have worked on your nest egg. Um, it looks like, a, you know, things are kind of going your way, especially with that Wheel of Fortune. And then with the Three of Cups, that's communal celebration. So it just kind of feels like, I guess, you guys are uh, stable um, and in high demand, right? And... Then at the bottom of this deck, again, is the Ten of Pentacles, which is upside down. Okay. Actually, it's upside down in the deck. Okay. So, a um, lot of Pentacles here on the table, Aries, which is freaking amazing. So, again, you know, just as a reminder, I am reading by row. Top level is current situation. Bottom level is angels, God, universe's response. Don't worry about if you can't see the cards because I'll hold them up. Um, so let's get started. The page of pentacles um, is, is exactly that. It is new opportunity, new offer for money, um, materialism, job, you know, somebody bringing you a great idea, you know, new creativity. Um, I like this for you, Aries, because I kind of feel like with a lot of you guys, this actually is going to put you in a great mood and it's going to put, it's kind of um, going to motivate you. You know, I know Aries definitely is one of those signs that suffers from the procrastination bug, but I just kind of feel like um, whatever this new opportunity is, it's going to raise a brow, right? Which is really, really, really cool. The Four of Cups usually refers to um, disengagement, you know, kind of feeling uh, apathetic, you know, disconnected, off to yourself, off on your own. Um, this is saying to me, whatever this offer is, right, whatever this offer is, um, and it could be several, by the way, but whatever this offer is, whatever this new opportunity is, Please identify the areas of this opportunity that are not for you, right? If it's multiple offers, um, you know, the initiation of a joint venture or business or, you know, you guys may want to start a book club, a motorcycle club, a car club. Um, I just kind of feel like it'll happen. There may be like some sort of lag while details are still being worked out. You may kind of dis disconnect, disengage for a while, but it kind of looks like, you know, whatever this new venture is, this new opportunity is, it has a, a wonderful um, return on investment, right? This looks like it's something that can add to your nest egg, right? The beautiful thing that I love too is that with the Wheel of Fortune, 
So it's almost like, you know, the wheel of fortune spins round, round and round. Sometimes it's up and sometimes it's down. I apologize for my Dr. Seuss rhyming. But sometimes it's up and sometimes it's down. And right now it feels hella up, as they say, right? Not only that, but it's gonna, it has the potential to bring people together, you know, in love and common energy, common emotion to kind of celebrate, right? to celebrate what this new idea is or this new venture is, right? And remember the top the top row is, you know, current energy, right? So this could be already going on or if it hasn't gone on, it's something that may happen in the immediate future, okay? The second line, I kind of feel like this is your haters, right? The five of swords usually relate, uh, relates to Stabbing in the back, people, you know, kind of cutting throat, um, you know, trying to jump ahead of you, you know, acting selfishly. For some reason, Aries, believe it or not, I kind of feel like this is your competitiveness, right? But you really have to be care, careful that you are not, you know, cutting your nose off to spite your face. You're not shooting yourself in the foot. You're not self-sabotaging, okay? So be wary and be careful of, you know, the need to just jump out in head and jump in front of everybody um, to get things take care, taken care of and to get things done. And as I sit here and look at the next card, you know, especially with the temperance, that exactly says to me, yeah, it could be a case where you're frustrated, you're impatient, you want to just kind of get things done things are taking too long, you know, people are not, you know, um, everybody's not necessarily on board or, you know, some people, they say they're going to do a bunch of stuff, but they're not necessarily showing up. So you may have this need again to jump out ahead in front of everybody and just get stuff done. The, um, of course, temperance is, you know, the blending of many people, many different ideas, many monies, if you will. And the blending of all of that stuff and then, you know, allowing the universe to kind of come in and bless this, this idea, right? Bless it with its, you know, pixie dust and sprinkles of um, inspiration and, and guidance and godliness, right? So I do kind of feel like if you are experiencing any kind of delays, they are on purpose. They are not only on purpose, but they are for a universal purpose. The Knight of Wands, you know, is that knight that charges in with fiery passion to get stuff done. Um, this to me is, this is crazy because I'm looking at this and it's like somebody stabs you in the back, but wait, because something else is going to come along, but wait something else comes along. So it kind of it kind of feels like a roller coaster, right? And I'll hold up all these cards so you guys can get a better look. Right? It it feels like a freaking roller coaster because it's just like, you know, we speed up, we slow down, we speed up, we slow down. Right? Um so be wary of that. Right? You know, things may go back and forth. Things may you know, kind of shoot out of control and, you know, go awry for a minute. But in the end, you know, those eight of the eight of wands, that's a lot of wands, right? So in the end, things start to straighten out. They start to take form. They start to kind of like work out. You're dealing with a lot of different moving parts, right? And it's it could be frustrating again. It could have you wanting to just take the reins, take control of it and work it out. But be careful of that because nobody in this universe is smarter than God, right? So uh, most certainly not you, Aries. Sorry, love you guys. But most certainly not you. So be very, very careful because your efforts actually may bring the project down or derail the project, okay? So be careful of that. And again, here's more proof, you know, as I've mentioned that everything will start to eventually align and work itself out. 
Of course, the Eight of Wands has to do with messages and information and news coming in very quickly. But these two cards at the bottom of the deck also kind of symbolize um, completion, successful completion of your project. The Six of Pentacles is basically saying, make sure everybody is doing their part. Make sure money is evenly distributed. This is the card of reciprocity. This is the card of charity. This is the card of give and take and balance in that giving and taking. And of course, again, we've already seen the Ten of Pentacles come out twice. This is long money, right? This is money that you leave behind for your kids. This, this is insurance payouts. So Aries, it looks like, you know, whatever it is that you guys are working on, um, you will receive, uh, you know, or benefit from the fruits of your labor. Just kind of, again, make sure you take your time. Don't try to, you know, kind of get in and kind of wrangle it to, to you know, hurry it along. Allow the universe to, you know, to basically mature it on its own time. And I wanted to also show these two cards as well because they were at, they were the next cards in line. There was the six of wands and then also the six of wands and then also the six of cups. So double sixes. Actually, we had triple sixes, right? So to me, that's just kind of like reinforcement. That's like, um, you know, the Holy Trinity. Whatever this is that you're working on um, could be ordained. It could be blessed. It could be based on universal order. So it's almost like I don't care. You know, I don't I don't really want to say this. But look at this too. No, I'm not going to show those two cards. But anyway, um, <coughs> excuse me. The I don't necessarily want to say it's or it's blessed or it's guaranteed. I don't like using the term or the word guaranteed. But Aries, it looks like whatever it is that, that whatever pot you have your hand in, um, some great things are about to happen. Great things are about to mature, and just in time for birthday month, right? That's pretty awesome. All right, my lovelies, let's see what the Earth Magic cards have to say for you, Aries. That's a pretty good reading, Aries. I mean, you have the pentacles in the, the, the top of the reading, and then in the bottom of the reading, you have movement, you have um, two major arcanas, um, and you have some movement, some back and forth movement, but movement nonetheless. All right, here we go. Iceberg, submerge. I tell you, this card just keeps coming up. Be wary of the, you know, um, keep your emotions in check. Keep your emotions in order. Be wary of, again, what's below the surface, right? We see the part that's exposed. We don't necessarily know what's below the surface. Um, the good thing about this being an iceberg versus like a volcano, you don't have to worry about like an eruption or an explosion, but... I kind of feel like for you, this is uh, what you what you need to model yourself after. And that's just basically making sure that your emotions are intact, right? Or you're not you're not making decisions from an emotional place, right? You're making them from a very mental and logical place. Next card up, music and harmony. Nice. That to me is celebration. That to me is rhythm. That to me is vibrational frequency. That to me is, you know, kind of like your intuition and, you know, the undercurrent, which is the universe that is running through all of us, but also at the same time, it's at the very surface of your endeavor and any endeavor. So this is just a reminder to me um, that there's a greater power out, out there. There's another current out there. It's beautiful. It's melodic. Every now and then, take time out to listen to it, surrender to it, because it knows better than you and me also. All of us, by the way. Wind and activation, culmination, right? Uh, of course, culmination is not on the card. That's what I was saying. Um, wind and activation. And again, that's that's the natural flow, right? That's the, you know... Allowing the universe, I said earlier, to come in and kind of spread its pix pixie dust on your project. You are just one piece of the project. The universe is also a partner and a co-creator in the completion of whatever this is you guys have going on as well. All right. That was an amazing reading, Aries. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a phenomenal birthday. 
And as always, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. All right, guys. Talk to you later.